Hello everybody, I'm Nick Baumgartner here, back with another edition of Ask Nick, our weekly Michigan football mailbag. Uh, we'll get right to it this week. Narrowed it down to one question. Uh, I thought it was an interesting one considering, you know, I was asked to do a prediction on the season before the year started, which, if you remember, was 7-5. and five. Uh, Michigan now is 7-2, and two, so I'm off pace on that by quite a bit. Uh, completely wrong, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, so I was... Way off, but Darren Bennett on Twitter asks, what is your prediction on how the rest of the season will play out? Um, wins and what bowl game? Um, which is sort of the question of the week, I think. You know, Michigan's now got three huge games left. I think they're, con you know, they're considering all of them playoff games. You win out, you get some help. And, you know, the help being Michigan State, if Michigan State loses one more, if Michigan wins the rest of its games, Michigan's in Indianapolis playing for the Big Ten title game. Um, and a shot for you know, greater things, I suppose, after that. Uh, but how, how do I see this playing out? I think that's the big question. And, and a lot of people have focused on, you know, Michigan State has to lose one more game for Michigan to have a shot. You gotta remember, Michigan's got to win all three here now. They've got to win the rest of them. I, you know, I've said all, I've said for a couple weeks now, I think Michigan has what it takes to get itself uh, to 9-2 and two heading into that final Saturday against Ohio State. I still believe that. I still believe Michigan gets the job done at Indiana and at Penn State in two weeks, although I don't, I don't say either one of those games is, is slam dunks. Um, I think both those games are going to be situations where you're going to have to rely on, uh, your, like, as you have for most of the season, your coaching staff um, sort of game planning and out-scheming the opponents and making sure that your team is, is, is in better shape. Now, the one thing that keeps bringing me back before I get into the last one there against Ohio State, and I guess this will set it up, the one thing that keeps giving me some pause uh, on just how this thing's going to finish for Michigan is is health. Um, Ryan Glasgow was banged up. We're not sure what his status is. That's a pretty thin position anyway. I mean, it's been great up front the defensive line, but it, you know they've been playing thin all year without Brian Monet. And if Brian Glasgow's out for any sort of extended time, that really hurts Michigan's depth. And that means you're going to have to ask other guys to play more, and then that's going to put more you know toll on their bodies and so on and so forth. So that's a concern. Uh, the running back position, I think, is also a concern. It just doesn't look like Drake Johnson is completely healthy to me. Um, probably as close as he's going to get this season. Davion Smith also, uh, you know, he's gone through enough this year with the ankle and some thigh stuff. Not sure if he's going to be uh, as fresh as you'd like him to be down the stretch. You have to, and we said this in the podcast, you have to get something from these other backs, from Ty Isaac or Derek Green or, or what have you, it's got to start happening because my big question and why I think Michigan will lose to Ohio State in a couple weeks, though I think they'll give them a game and I think it'll be close and I think it'll be a great one for everyone to watch. Michigan certainly could win. I think they have what they need in, in, in theory to win. Um, I just don't know if they're going to have enough gas in the tank and Ohio State's just got more depth. And I think that when, when it comes down to that, Last game of the year, uh, second half game, grinding it out in the fourth quarter. I'm not sure if Michigan's – that's my biggest question, and I can't say for sure that Michigan's going to have the depth it needs to get through these next three weeks with three straight wins without any kind of setbacks. Um, so right now, here we are on um, taping this November 12th. It'll run November 13th. Right now, my, my, my call is 9-3. and three. I think Michigan finishes the year 9-3. and three. Um with the loss to Ohio State, though I could I could see them finishing ten and two. I'm not saying that's off the table. I just think nine and three is is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, loss to Ohio State, and if you're nine and three, uh, I think you're going to a nice bowl in Florida, and I think you finished your ten and three. You know, I'll I'll say that. I'll say for all the reasons I just said, I'm not sure if they're going to have enough gas in the tank to beat Ohio State. Jim Harbaugh and company will have then a handful of weeks to get everybody back up. And with a fresh roster and the way this team's developed, I'll take Michigan against just about anybody in a bowl game in terms of if you're playing in Citrus Bowl or uh, Outback Bowl type competition. If you're playing, you know, those types of teams in that tier, I'll take Michigan in that bowl game. I'm not sure who they're going to play, but I'll take them. Uh, so that one, I think Michigan finishes this year with 10 wins, but I think three losses uh, come with it. Either way, I was way wrong in my my uh, preseason prediction, way off anyway, Um Again, can't say enough about the job that uh, Harbaugh and his staff have done, and can't say enough about uh, about the job that the team has done in terms of buying into what the staff wants to do, um, making sure that they're all tougher, they're all mentally stronger, um, 
more disciplined. I just think that, that the fact that we're sitting here talking about the possibility that they could be 10-2 and two, headed to a Big Ten championship game, which is still very much absolutely a possibility. I was wrong before I could be wrong again. So the fact that we're even discussing it here now in the middle of November is a testament to the job they've all done. It's been a terrific effort from everyone. Uh, it's been interesting to see, and it'll be really interesting to see how they play out these last three weeks. Me saying, my question is, are they going to have enough gas? And in three weeks, if they're 10-2, and two, then that their answer to me will have been, absolutely, we had enough gas because we reached down and we found some more that we that, that I wasn't sure if they had. So that's my biggest thing, stamina-wise. Can they make it all the way through? If they can do that, I think they can be 10-2. and two. But I think they run up a little bit short. I say 9-3 and three with a bowl win as well. 10-3, and three, pretty good first season. Either way, they're looking like a pretty good first season under Harbaugh. Plenty to build on moving forward. So uh, that'll do it for today. Uh, again, check back next week for next week's mailbag. I'll be uh, in Bloomington on Saturday night. Check back uh, M Live uh, at 1.30 for our live blog, and I'll be after the, I'll be uh, back on video after the game to break it all down. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later.